Around 20 people shared stories of gun violence and how it's impacted them, specifically what they believe needs to change to keep their community safe. We keep talking about it, and it's sad that it has become commonplace. It's sad that it's everyday news now, and it's sad that it's become acceptable uh, rhetoric, if you will. Day after day, people continue to lose loved ones to gun violence. We were just outside being kids when a man with no heart came and changed my life forever. Well, we're here on the perspective of domestic violence, particularly gun violence, the interconnection. Um, she actually was murdered. He killed himself. Story after story, a girl who lost her father and parents who lost their daughter and several others sharing gun experiences and negative impacts they've had on communities like in schools. As the number one killer of children, um, <clears throat> as a parent, I just find it unacceptable and we need to do something. I would like to um, propose some sort of resource for students and teachers in schools, perhaps uh, address their concerns about their fellow classmates or students and, uh, you know, address those problems before they grow. Students, parents of students, counselors and hunters asking for stricter laws, things like mandatory background checks, gun education, funding for mental health services and resources and support for red flag laws. I heard no one at this table say, let's take away guns. This is not what this is about. It's about making sure that the guns that people want to have legally, that they're trained in them, that they keep them safe, keep them locked up when they're not using them, and that we protect ourselves by protecting the people around us that are in trouble. Governor Whitmer signing an executive directive to invest all available federal resources into crime and gun violence intervention and prevention in state government departments and local law enforcement agencies. And like many of those who spoke, she says it's compromised of puzzle pieces. It's not just one aspect of what's happening but multiple that are contributing to the climate that we're all addressing. All of this comes after Governor Whitmer signed a record budget into law to help communities fund local law enforcement and hire more first responders. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.